Brody, we have no choice. We, we have to find out the truth. Liam has been through enough, Brody. I know it must be awful to face this again, and I can't apologize enough for putting you through it the first time. But, son, you have to do this. I'll call a department. We'll use a police lab, make sure the results were accurate. No, thank you, Bo, but that won't be necessary. Natalie, just think about this thing. These were found in Victor Lord Jr.'s papers, right? Um, why should we believe anything connected to him? For all we know, he had these rigged up just to, just to hurt John. What, why, why would knowing that Liam is his son hurt John? Because Liam isn't his. And Victor might have had these so-called test results made up just, just to dangle him under his nose so that he could raise his hopes up and then pull the rug out from under him again. Would you put that past him? Would any of you? You know, Brody's right about Victor. Because Victor hated John. And we all know that he was capable of pulling off something like that. Yeah, but if these results are real, he could have just as easily kept it to himself. No, no. I won't let him do this to us. The man was a psychopath. I know he's your uncle, Natalie, but, but Victor Lord Jr. was so filled with rage and hatred that I wouldn't put it past that son of a bitch to try to destroy all our lives. This woman said what? She said that you, you came to see Victor, and uh, she heard loud voices, so she slipped back into the room, and she heard you say to Victor that if he did anything to destroy what you have, he's a dead man. <sighs> Natalie, what's wrong? Uh, can I get you some water or, or maybe something stronger? You knew. What? You knew. That's what Victor was threatening you with. You knew that John was Liam's father. Uh, Lieutenant McBain, you scared me half to death. I thought an intruder was trying to kidnap the baby. As you know, it wouldn't be the first time that someone tried. I'm very sorry about this, Nigel. If I may ask, what are you doing here? I'm leaving town. Moving to Seattle for a while, and I thought this might be my last chance to uh, see Liam. Of course. But you could have rung the bell. I know. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. I knew I was going to be at the wedding. I thought maybe I could... I thought maybe I could slip in and slip out without anybody finding out. I understand. I know you were quite attached to young Master Liam at one time. Yeah, you could say that. I'm not surprised. He's a very easy child to become attached to. A very good little baby. There he is. Hey. Hey, you okay, little man? It's been a while since I've seen him. He's gotten big. If you don't mind my saying so, Lieutenant, I'm very sorry things didn't work out for you and Miss Natalie. I thought you made a fine couple. Fine family. Thanks, Nigel. Hey, look, it's not too much to ask. Can we keep this little visit just between us? You can rely upon my discretion. Have a safe flight. Thank you. All right, buddy. I got a plane to catch. It's a long well, I'm sorry. You can't let me change my face. Why not? You still planning to scam Rex by passing me off as Gigi? Because you can only do that with my cooperation. And I'm not cooperating. You are such a hypocrite. Excuse me? Yeah, you accuse me of being a scam artist. You are a scam artist. Oh, oh, so what does that make you, Stacy? You stole my credit card. You were gonna put this entire trip on it. The plane ticket, the insanely expensive plastic surgery. How much was that gonna cost? How much was I gonna have to lay out for you to get your old face back? You were gonna leave me holding the bag. You owe me. What? Yeah, you uh, were trying to use me. You were gonna sell me to Rex. What I did is nothing in comparison to what you were trying to do. Fly off to South America? For like a million of my dimes? You really not understand the difference? I'm just trying to get my life. You know what? You're disgusting, and I want nothing more to do with you. So I am just gonna get out of here. Wait, 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 you can't just go. 
I don't know how you've been able to put up with all my family's craziness, you know, especially after everything that we've put you through. You've really been there for me. It's because... What? <laughs> Never mind. What? <laughs> no, no, it's... It's, it's just that I've, I've seen something in you ever since this whole thing with Liam came out. Tess. No, no, not Tess. How strong you are, Jessica. I don't feel very strong. Well, you are. I mean, you could have dropped this whole thing with Natalie and Brody, especially after the way that they treated you, but you didn't. I mean, you, you, could, have, you could have thrown those test results in the fire and said to hell with it. It occurred to me. Yeah, but you didn't. You went out on a limb to tell Natalie something that she needed to know, and she accused you of making the entire thing up, when all you wanted to do was make sure that she knew the truth. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, so was telling Brody. And the way he treated you, he made you question your sanity. And after everything you've been through, Jessica, that's... That's low. But you just... You just picked yourself up. I, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I've seen you put your life back together. I've seen it up close. What a wonderful sister, mother, daughter. What a wonderful woman you really are. Oh, I don't think I could have done any of it without your help. That's insane. What are you talking about? It all makes sense now. Everything that I've been wondering about. Brody, you don't usually threaten to kill a man without provocation. That's so what Victor did. Had he threatened to hurt your family? You threatened Victor. You said that you would rather kill him than allow him to destroy what you have, but I couldn't understand. I couldn't figure out how he could do that. He couldn't. But now I see it. Because Victor had this paternity test and he knew that you knew. And he was threatening to expose you. That's what he was holding over you and that's why you had to kill him. No, 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 listen to me. I... Brody, just tell me the truth, okay? You owe me that much. I mean, I'm gonna find out anyway. Because I am going to have Liam tested and every single person in this room is gonna know exactly what you have known all this time. So tell me. Have the decency to tell me the truth. Yes. I know. How did you find out that John Liam's father did Victor tell you? It was on the tape tape of Marty's therapy session with Dr. Bahari. Oh my god. Marty, the, the tape. I mean, you should sit down, okay? No, I'm okay. I'm okay, um, okay. So what was, what was Marty saying on the tape? She said she changed the paternity test results. So that I was the father instead of John. So Marty did this. She didn't want you and John to be happy. And she confessed that to her psychiatrist. So, um... This tape, is this the, um, the tape that, uh, that we recovered from Gigi? The one there's a, the recorder? That was the day that Gigi was stuck in the house. The day that she was supposed to marry Rex. I gave her that tape recorder. It was my something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, gift to the bride-to-be. How did you know to listen to this tape? I didn't, I didn't. I, I was cataloging it into evidence. I didn't know what was on that tape until I pressed play. But I listened to that tape, and when I listened to the tape, the tape was blank. I know. So you erased it? Yes. So all this time you knew 
since Gigi died. Why shouldn't I go? You've made it clear you're not gonna help me. Just, just give me a minute, okay? Just wait. Maybe we can work something out. Please, Cutter, help me get to Brazil. Help me get my life back. Stacy, this... I need to get my life back. I'll pay you back. How? I don't know how yet, but I won't stiff you. I'll, I'll get a job, pay you back in installments. I need to do this. I just, I feel so lost, so alone. I know how that feels. Even if I don't remember my old life, even if it was terrible, I need to start trying to get it back. And this is the only way I can think of to do it. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, you can use my credit card. Thank you so on, much. On one condition. You're not so bad yourself, you know. <laughs> so you keep telling me. Well, I mean, when you think about how we started out, it's amazing, isn't it? You know? Now I think of you as, as a friend. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You know, whenever I need someone to talk to, you're the person I call. I mean, you're the person I go to. You're the person that I... that I complain about all my problems to. Oh, come on. I'm sure you have plenty of friends no, that you can complain no, to. No, I don't. I mean, Kelly and Marty, they're gone, and my relationship with Natalie is damaged beyond repair. So, uh, right now... you're the only friend I have. Please, you have to remember what that time was like for us. You had lost John. I had lost Jessica and Ryder. We were both so hurt, and but we had this one, this one wonderful thing that happened to us. We made that beautiful little boy together. Except we didn't. But we didn't know that. We didn't know that, and and because we didn't know that, Liam saved us. This this amazing little boy. He gave us both so much hope, and we were there for each other in a way no one else could have been. You know, you, you know, we started out as friends, comforting each other after we lost the people we loved, but things changed for us, Natalie. I really, truly fell in love with you. And I loved Liam. He was my son. He brought us together. And after everything with Ryder, you, you know why that killed me. Yeah. And when I found out Liam wasn't mine, I, I couldn't let him go. Either of you. We've been there for each other through so many difficult times, through everything with Jessica and Tess. And then the whole time Liam was kidnapped, I was there. Even when I found out he wasn't my biological son, it made no difference to me. But you knew the truth this whole time. I, I didn't want to lose my family, Natalie. I still don't want to lose you or Liam. I love you, and I love him. I always have, and I always will. Don't you see? This this doesn't change anything. We can still get married. 